Ooh, ooh, baby. There's a triple. Okay. Am I being disconnected? I can't hear sound. No? It's just... Just loading. Alright. Oh, yeah. We were running to the cast off. I completely forgot about that. God damn it. This is the garden. Oh, nice. Hello, Duchi. Oh, she's still wearing her pantaloons. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. She cares a lot about her. Oh. Golden fish. Well, I nap the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Unicorn horn? The unicorn. How do I catch it? Terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It's a horse. It turns around over there. Look. <laughs> it's a horse with a horn on it. Fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Gareth. It's not a real fish. Ah, shit. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Okay, that's much easier. Did you put a dress now, or? Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other phoenix encounters. All clear? Then let's get to it. All right, so we go down from here. Oh God, I don't want to have to deal with another Bruxa. I also need to repair my goddamn sword. There we go. Oh, wow. I can't climb up from there? Great. I've come for the unicorn. It's a horse with a horn on it. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Oh, shit. Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Why are you talking about your sister as a uh, virginity, bro? Spook the beast. We shall try this again. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Hey there, Roach. <laughs> Pretty uncomfortable having that thing, ain't it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't like me. Cold games not likely to tempt a unicorn. Crispy apple. Should like that like any other damn horse. Apple. Yum yum. Here you go, apple. Apple for you. Apple for you, horsey. Easy. Gardens are huge. You're better off on horseback. Ah, someone's gonna fish it as soon as I grab it, ain't it? Shit. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. <laughs> King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Pretty cast upon us your merciful eyes. Uh, of course. Bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace. Great. When a soul of good or ill repute when am I coming out of the water? Me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> the key. A key. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> they're crying. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, they're. <laughs> the, hey, orders from the d Duchess. Orders from the Duchess. You can't. You can't make me do anything else. Jesus, I gotta make sure I don't make this episode too long. Last time I tried to edit the other one, it is too long. I I should have stopped when I uh, beat the beat that little monster, but it was just dialogue after dialogue. Unless I get a break in the tension for this area, then I'll start doing some of the side quests. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. Oh my god. Haha, I am the rules. <laughs> It's important. Come on. Geralt. At last. Got a key and a clue. And I have another. Show me yours. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> this driven. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Okay, and Oh shit. Someplace cramped. I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease. So you begin to get hollowed out. Ease. Then end like a mouse with the head of a hard cheese. It's not it's not a pantry. It's a greenhouse? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then I end like a mouse with the head of hard cheese. So I'm happy at the end, and I begin like a groan hollowed out with ease. Out with ease, then I end like a mouse. So something in the end, you you benefit from something in the end. Uh, groan, creaking? Or is it just like a normal groan where you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. Alright, why would it be a cave? Well, it could be a cave. I find a lot of loot in a cave. Uh, Palace Pantry seems too, too on the nose for the head of heart sheet, or too on the nose for the mouse, so I don't think it's number two. I'm not, number five is out, because, you know, it, I no idea it doesn't make any sense. Someplace cramped is useless as well, so it's got to be number one or number three. It's a greenhouse or it's a cave? I mean, if it was a cave being carved by the sea, it'd make some sense, but a greenhouse. I mean, it is a pain. Oh, you maybe you start with a pain, and then when you get all the resources, a greenhouse. You get all the resources at the end of the greenhouse, because you farmed everything. Good thing this isn't time. I would have been fucked. I think it's greenhouse. Let's see. Green? green? Oh, is green? Really? Green. You're a genius. Several greenhouses and gardens, indeed. But only one of the blocks, the key to which looks just like the one we found. Let's go. Alright, so we finished the first quest. Wait here. Oh. Oh, why are you making her sit alone? She's gonna get killed next. Oh no, no! Oh, that's gotta hurt. You can, girl can deal fall damage. It's a man with claws and it can teleport. There he is. Oh, what is that? He has long fingers or claws? Oh, so time for some Assassin's Creed, man. He's definitely more agile than me. Oh, and well, we're locked in the room.
This seems big enough for a boss battle. I hope it's not. That'd be too short of a story mission. And there's still two other people that have yet to get murdered. No, one other person that has yet to get murdered. I'm here. This belong to you, maybe? It did. But you may keep it. I've a new one. Oh. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Many. Plenty. Even more of the guilty, though. You're next. Hmm. I think not. You see, I've something to do still. More murders. Just his long claws. Oh, he does have one more target. I did say he'll have one more target. Not counting yours. Okay, he's ready for combat. And it's a boss fight. Crap. The Beast of Bo Beauclair. Vampire oil first. I have black blood already. Jesus Christ, he's strong! Is there any way I would be able to even beat him? That ended much quicker than I thought. Oh, who came in front of me? You were to stay where you were. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No, he's my friend. Oh my god. Who the hell? And how the hell? Care to explain? Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You alright? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Mm. So what are you doing here? How'd you... You being here. Not some fortunate coincidence, I take it. Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Tetlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. What good reasons could he possibly Is have? Your opinion. What are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Yeah. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are woke to performing noble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Mm. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Hmm. 
Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Okay. Root of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Yeah, why, dude? Awfully good of him. But do I need to know this? Yes. So you'll understand Detlaf is no cold-blooded killer. I believe he's landed in some mess and he sees no way out. What makes you say that? Vilgefort's melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Mm -hmm. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. Blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something. So what, he's being controlled? I've always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Dead Love's trump card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Any idea what could have angered him? Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say. But intend to find out. But he killed one of my homies, bro. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast. Am I right? I guess. Sure, sure yeah. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Declaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mela Chaise Long Cemetery. All right. We'll meet there. See you. Very strong. All right. Oh, he can do that too. Dope. By there, gassy boy. You're taking the exact same path that man took. Oh no, not the exact same. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Escape. Investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sus, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder. Ah, oh, he died. Unavenged. Unavenged. Shit. Milton died. Fuck! Jesus Christ, I have no health. That... That motherfucker hit me like a truck. Alright. Hey, hi, how you doing, man? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. That man hit me like a goddamn truck in the... Alright. That oh, man, I, I, I don't know if I want to fight that vampire again. He actually really dished out some damage compared to any other opponent I've faced. Alright, I'm going to drink another, another one of these and then look around town, maybe get some shite done. Oh, that's locked. 
Oh god. Sir, sir, a letter for you, sir. Nice, I got a letter from who? From. Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Hey, do you don't look into the camera. <sighs> Here you go. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Pay the kid, man. Postage might be paid, but like, he's doing his job. He I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to choose. Ah, Yennefer. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. Oh, great. You want me to grave I rob? I a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful. God damn it, Jennifer, I'm not a grave robber. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Thus, I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your yen. Ah, your yen. That's nice. A professor who studied witcher mutations. Might actually be worth looking into. Mm, definitely. Whew, finally, I can do stuff. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please like and comment down below. If you didn't comment below, didn't if you didn't I wanna see more tribe notification. Anyways, catch you guys later. Ah, oh, shit. Peace. I am known by many names. Mountain Slayer. Underlion. The Chocolate Ass. But you, you may call me Tiffany. Is there any more markers around that can stick up my ass?